playing a very important role in the modern warfare and the future air dominance is predominantly going to be with the unmanned aerial vehicle. We are standing at a place where what you see here is autonomous flying wing unmanned aerial vehicle. This is just not a model, it's a full scale model which has been successfully test flown accomplishing two of the very critical technologies like the stealth and autonomous takeoff and landing and also high speed autonomous takeoff and landing or very close to what the UCAVs would do. The first indigenous unmanned aerial vehicle uh, built by uh, KDE is for a male category. Male is a medium altitude, long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle. It can fly up to uh, 30,000 uh, feet, go for more than 24 hours of endurance. It's a technically the most advanced platform, uh, completely built flight demonstrated for most of its objectives and right now this uh, aircraft what we call as IUAS Indian Unmanned Air Aerial System uh, is going for a pre-operational role exercise for Indian Air Force and also Indian Navy. What's on display here is the uh, next variant of Tapas what we call as a single engine twin boom architecture which is uh, also known by the Archer NG name. So this is the uh, specific uh, configuration if you look at it. It has got a single engine, it's a pusher configuration. Uh, does all the roles what the Tapas does uh, for ISR operations. And in addition, it is weaponized platform. We have a maritime surveillance operately empowered. All the payloads can be integrated. It has IFF for a friend or flow identification. All of them are indigenously built and uh, uh, through the industry partners. The design and development is done by our sister labs of Electronic Cluster. And uh, there are two PADB partners, Bharat Electronics and uh, HAL, who are uh, on board with us. While they are the PADB partners, there are also level two companies, many of them who have realized the systems and subsystems. So, uh, if you really look at it, from the airframe configurations to data links to payloads, uh, and many of the systems, including the ground operational systems, all are done by the industry partners. The software development is completely intellectual property of the DRDO. So that's what makes it unique. Any modification the user wants can be done in a few days and we can deliver a variant. And that's the power of uh, indigenization.